the dot product is equal to 0, you have two vectors that are orthogonal. So the first thing you always want to do is check the dot product, right? It's not that bad. So this one, we have two vectors in as a linear combination. If we don't like linear combination, could we write them in component form? Sure. It's a little extra. I mean, if you don't like i and j that much and you really want to put them in component form, then do it. They're interchangeable. It doesn't matter. But hopefully you guys just recognize you don't need to do that. w dot t is just going to be the product of the first two components, 10, negative 5, plus the product of my second two components, 2, negative 1. So in this case, I get a negative 52, right? Negative 50 plus negative 2, negative 52. So we know they're not perpendicular. Now we've got to figure out, well, are they parallel or not? Hmm. So we can always find the angle between them, right? If they're parallel, what angle should they have between them? That's kind of good, doesn't it? 0, 180, right? Based on the definition I obviously gave you. So let's go and do that. Cosine of theta is equal to um, the dot product. So that's going to be negative 52 divided by the magnitude of w. So let's figure out what the magnitude of w is. That's going to be 10 squared plus 2 squared. Square root 104. And then the next one, the magnitude of t, let's see, that's going to be the square root of negative 5 squared plus negative 1 squared, 26. Now for this one, I need to use my calculator, right? But I've already kind of calculated this before. I'm pretty good with square roots. And since this is my fourth time teaching this, I know the answer is going to be equal to negative 1. However, why would you not get negative 1 if you type this in your calculator? The reason why most people do not get negative 1 is they don't put the denominator in parentheses. Okay? You make sure you're dividing negative 52, you're dividing it by the product of these two. If you just type it in, negative 52 degrees divided by square root of 104, then times 1 squared 26, that's going to put that in the numerator. Okay? So your calculator follows order of operations. So just make sure when you're typing this in your calculator, use parentheses. Okay? Or do them separately and then divide them. But either way, you should get negative 1. And does anybody confirm that? Anybody else try it? Confirm? Yeah? OK. So now, let's go back to our understanding. You could do, the, you could do cosine inverse of negative 1, but hopefully you guys just remember from the inner circle what angle is when x is equal to negative 1. Yeah, in terms of degrees, it's going to be 180. So therefore, that tells us it's parallel. So Or? No, 0 or 180. Or they're not orthogonal, meaning the dot product. 